In this segment, we'll talk about the use of monitor walls in the operator client system. We'll cover all aspects of monitor wall, when you might use them, um, where they're best used, and how to control and operate them within the software. If your organization needs assistance with any aspect of BVMS or any security system, please contact your security system vendor or our professional services team at support at midchess.com or visit our website at www.midchess.com. From the main operator client control screen, you'll notice in the logical tree on the left hand side now we have a monitor wall. Monitor walls are now displayed in the logical tree. They can either be placed right on the tree or put into a folder, however the system is laid out. Um, is where you'll find the icon here that represents monitor wall. In order to pull this out into the Cameo, all you have to do is double click or click and drag it out into an open pane. It takes a moment to connect. You can see the status of the connection down in the lower left hand corner here. If there's any network errors or connection delay, this may take a little bit longer to connect. However, it will show you what it'll show you the status currently down here in the corner. So right now we are connected. The images we see on the screen are currently how the monitor wall is laid out and what it is displaying. With the monitor wall computer, it may be in the same room as the server or wherever the workstation is that you are programming from, or it may be in a completely separate room entirely. The pictures we see on the screen here are simply thumbnails of the live camera images, and these are updated every few seconds with current images. The video on the screen, either in the room you are in or in a separate room, is live feeds from the camera. We can change the size and layout of the monitor wall completely through operator client within this screen. If we right click on a current image, we have the option to clear or clear all. Clicking clear all will clear all images on the decoder. If we click, if we click clear, it clears one single image, which we will do right now. When there's no image displayed on the monitor wall screen, you will simply see a gray blank area. If we wish to bring a camera back into the Cameo, we can go to the logical tree, selecting the camera in which we want to see on the monitor wall, and click and drag it into an open space. The number that appears on the screen here is the logical number of the camera. This is useful for calling up cameras with a keyboard, which we will discuss in a later segment. To change the amount of cameras you see on a monitor wall screen at any time, we come up to the top left corner where we see layout. There is a drop down here which if we click on, we have some different options for layouts of camera views. As you click through these, the images on the screen in operator client and on the screen either local or in the field is, are going to change. When you do this, the image sizes get smaller and smaller as you increase the amount of cameras on the screen worth noting on a very small monitor putting several cameras up is going to result in several small images. While we have 6x5 displayed here, the monitor wall is configured to only show a max of 16 cameras at any time, which is why we see blank spaces here. When you look on the actual monitor, more boxes will appear. However, you simply just cannot put 
cameras in them through operator client. All the images that you see on the screen on monitor wall are controlled through operator client and monitor wall computers do not have a mouse or keyboard connected to them so ha they have no control over camera views, camera control, or adding additional cameras to them. The point of a monitor wall is simply to display live feeds on a monitor in a separate room without the need for a workstation. If an operator has the need to control cameras, view 360s or 180s, a workstation would be required. 360 and 180 degree cameras cannot be displayed properly on a decoder as the dewarping occurs in the operator client software and not on the camera. So if you drag a panoramic camera into a open pane, you will have a distorted image that is more than likely not usable. So in going to shrink the amount of cameras down here and then we will clear all the cameras to add cameras it's as simple as clicking and dragging the cameras into the panes you wish to see the cameras on 